Hey guys, it's John David here with How to Get an Analytics Job. It is currently 10.50 p.m. right before I'm going to bed and I was just browsing Reddit and look what is on the top page of the internet. For those of you who don't know, Reddit calls itself the front page of the internet. So the first post that it's recommending to me is hiring managers of Reddit. What are the telltale signs that your candidate is making things up? So in other words, how can you spot someone who's lying? And really the point of this video is, should you be lying in interviews? The long and the short of it is, don't lie, please don't lie. It's not, not only is it ethically wrong, but it's also going to set you up for failure. So let's click on this article and really dig into this. I, I think you guys are gonna really like this video. But before we get in, make sure that you are subscribed to this channel and you've rung the bell if you want more content related to get, getting an analytics job. So we post three videos a week and we're helping you learn all the different skills and jump over all the hurdles of getting an analytics job. So the top comment is extremely relevant to this channel. Communist Pants, which is a hilarious username, said, who is a, obviously is a hiring manager, we had an interview candidate who said their Excel skills were 9.5 out of 10. So they were 95% on the Excel, I guess, skill scale. <laughs> and they knew how to do pivot tables. They literally started crying when we brought out a laptop for the skills test and asked them to make a pivot table out of sample data. This is the exact reason why you don't want to tell a boldface lie in an interview. It's just not a good idea, especially if it's a hard skill. If you're introverted and you say, oh yeah, I actually, I like people I like going out. That's, that's a lie you can kind of get away with. I, Although I really don't recommend you actually um, lying about anything because lying about your personality type might get you a job in a company culture where everyone is in your face and they're, you know, doing those company cheers and it's like extroversion and it's not a good fit for you. I really think that not lying and being completely honest is the way to go. Not only is it ethically what like what you should do, like I don't I guess I was just raised with, you know, don't lie, it's not a good thing to do. I mean, I'm we're in Greensboro, North Carolina. We are in the Bible belt. So <laughs> I guess uh, you know, my my parents definitely bestowed those those ethics on me. But also from a pragmatic standpoint, I grew up with a guy who was pretty much a pathological liar. And it was fascinating, you know, I, I think we met in kindergarten. And I watched him lie over and over and over again. And he just spun these webs of lies. And I watched him also get caught in lie after lie after lie. If you lied in an interview, you might show that you lied to them two weeks into the job. Because you might say, oh yeah, I don't know pivot tables. But you told them to their face that you know how to do that. And then all of a sudden you've broken their trust and it's it's not it's not good they're not going to uh, they're not going to promote you they might fire you for just being dishonest because um, especially if you're spinning webs of lies they're going to start catching on real quick um, but that being said I did want to talk about in an interview there are ways to handle questions like this that you don't have a positive or a good response to. So if Communist Pants asked me specifically in an interview uh, about pivot tables and I didn't know them, my response might be something like, um, well, you know, Communist Pants, I don't actually have any skills within pivot charts, but I know how to learn Excel skills very quickly because, you know, I follow people like Oz du Soule, who... By the way, he is someone who we interviewed a few weeks ago who is an Excel guru, and I can very quickly learn new skills 
based on you know my researching abilities. So what you've done in that situation is you've taken a negative and you've kind of like Jedi mind tricked your way into a positive. So yes, the answer is negative, but I'm going to use this as an opportunity to talk about my my you know skill building skills. Like I know how to learn and I'm not intimidated about learning new things. So that pretty much wraps up this video. The long and the short of it is do not lie in interviews. It's not a good strategy. Um, because the worst case scenario, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, say you lie about you know being able to code. You don't know how to code, and the job is coding day in and day out. Not that's that's worse than having you know an uncomfortable hour long interview where you just bomb, because instead of wasting an hour of your time, you may waste two weeks or two months or you know three months of just struggling and and not just failing really hard. And you're wasting all your time and eventually you're going to get the axe and get fired. So my advice is be honest, but be honest in a way that is somewhat flattering to you. Like you do want to promote your own personal brand. Um, that pretty much wraps up this video. Please like and subscribe. Leave a comment. I mean, if, if you disagree, if you think that I'm absolutely wrong, I would love to have conversations around this in the comment section. I'll see you guys next time.